Hello everybody, I would like to continue on my part 2 of Myanmar Constitution 2008 critic. Now, let's look at Article 161 for the formation of region and state parliaments. This article allows Commander-in-Chief of the Defence Services to appoint Defence Services personnel in the region and state parliaments. The number is one third of the total number of representatives. To sum up, in the National Parliament, People Parliament, and the Region and State Parliaments, Defence Services personnel are given parliamentary seats together with the sel selected representatives. In all democratic constitutions, it can never be found. The division of civil services personnel and the Defence Services personnel is written in Article 121. It states, a list of persons who are not entitled to be elected as the representative of People Parliament with the proviso of Defence Services personnel in Article 121G. It means Defence Services personnel can be selected and appointed as a representative of People Parliament. And now in the Parliament, they have been given parliamentary seats. We will now scrutinize over the declaration on the state of emergency, particularly in the area of how the President has to dance in accord with the tune of his puppet master, the military. Article 410 says, the President may declare a state of emergency after coordinating with the National Defense and Security Council in a region or a state or a union territory or a self-administered area if the administration, administrative functions cannot be carried out. And in Article 412A, it states, the President may declare a state of emergency after coordinating with National Defense and Security Council in a region or a state or a union territory or a self-administered area if life, shelter and property of the public in that area are in danger. And also in Article 412B, it states, if all the members of National Defense and Security Council are unable to attend, the President may declare a state of emergency after coordinating with the Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Services, Deputy Commander-in-Chief, Minister for Defense and Minister for Home Affairs. And Article 417 says, if there is sufficient reason for a state of emergency to arise, the President may, after coordinating with the National Defense and Security Council, declare a state of emergency, the entire nation and the specific duration is one year. Those artic articles, Article 410, 412A, 412B and 417 are all about the declaration of a state of emergency. However, for the entire nation, the region or a state or a union territory or even for a self-administered area to declare a state of emergency and the president can declare only after coordinating with the NDSC. We therefore should look at how National Defense and Security Council which plays the most vital role in the Constitution 2008 is for. Article 210 specify formation of the National Defense and Security Council and the SE, and it states the National Defense and Security Council led by the President to enable to discharge the duty assigned by the Constitution or any law shall be formed with the following persons A. The President B. Vice Presidents C. Five Presidents D. Speaker of the People's Parliament E. Speaker of the National Parliament F. Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Services G. Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Defence Services H. Minister for Defence I. Minister for Foreign Affairs J. Minister for Foreign Affairs K. Minister for Border Affairs If we look at the current selected person in the Parliament, President is Teng Sein, who is the ex-general. The first Vice President is Teng Ao Mi Wu, who is the ex-general. The second Vice President is Sai Mok Kham, Elias Mao, he is from the Military Backup, Union, Solitary and De Development Party. Article 59 prescribes the qualification of the President and Vice President and 59D is written as President and Vice President shall be well acquainted with all the affairs of the Union such as political, administrative, economic and military. It means they must be military personnel or ex-military personnel. Only these people are eligible to hold the presidential office. Teng Seng and Teng Mi Wu are ex-military general. Another elected vice president, Sai Mok Khan, alias Mao, is a physician by profession. 
he was not elected in line with Article 5090. It means the puppet master has the right to choose whoever he thinks is fit to serve the military without consulting with the Constitution 2008. Speaker of People's Parliament is Freeman, who is the ex general. Speaker of the National Parliament is King Amit, who is the ex major general. Commander in chief of the Defense Services is eventually from the military. Deputy Commander in chief of the Defence Services is eventually from the military. Minister for Defence is Major General Lame. Minister for Home Affairs is Wana Mame. He is also ex-military services personnel. He was from the 16th intake of Defence Services Academy. Minister for Home Affairs is Lef Lieutenant General Koko. Minister for Bora Affairs is Major General Dainte. To sum up, 10 members out of 11 are military personnel or ex-military personnel and one is from the pro-military party, Union Solitary and Development Party. It means the entire nation is again under the military government. To enhance the power of the National Defense and Security Council, the, article, the following articles are also prescribed. Article 427 a says the National Defense and Security Council is exercise the powers of the legislature, executive, and judiciary before the assemblies are formed. In Article 427b, the National Defense and Security Council has a right to exercise the sovereign power until the new president has been elected and the union level administrative bodies have been formed. In Article 428, the National Defense and Security Council shall form the and assign duty to different level of administrative bodies and the self administered division leading bodies. And in Article 429, the National Defense and Security Council shall hold the general election within duration of six months commencing from the day on which the ordinance is annulled under Section 426. We will now continue my final and the Part 3 of Myanmar Constitution 2008 critic very shortly. Bye for now.